All right, today we'll be doing a valve adjustment on an Arctic Cat 400, 2004 model. Um, the tools we're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, eight millimeter wrench, eight millimeter Allen, and a 5 8 socket for the spark plug, and a flat screwdriver here, a longer flat screwdriver, or something that can be um, about this long, but you want it um, fairly skinny fit down the spark plug hole. So first thing we're gonna do is pull this cap here and that is our um, inspection cap to see uh, the mark on the flywheel. So pull that off, eight millimeter bolt. And then pull the recoil pull starter off here. Four of these eight millimeter headed bolts, we'll take those off. Take the recoil, pull starter off. Now we're gonna take these four, we're gonna adjust the intake on this side, two intake, two exhaust. We're gonna pull these four 10 millimeter bolts out. These are the valve check caps here. And then we're gonna pull this spark plug out as well and I'll show you why here in a second. So we've got a five, five eight socket here to take out. Pull the spark plug. Now what we're gonna do is there's a line on your flywheel, so down in this window here, and you can see here there's an arrow. So that line on the flywheel that spins around here is gonna line up with this uh, mark here. So you're gonna take and spin this pull starter, and you can do it with the pull starter as well, keep it on and pull it, but it's a lot harder to hold it into place once you get to where it needs to be. Now, there's two spots. There's a line on there that you need to line up, and you can spin all the way around and um, look, it'll be the same mark, but your valve caps here or your valve um, clearances will be zero, which is not what you want. So you'll want to spin it around and as long as there's some clearance there, if your four wheeler's running good, you'll have clearance. If, um, if it's just a little bit hard starting or something, you'll have clearance. If there's not clearance, what you want to do is loosen up to where there is clearance when you're on that mark. You want to spin it around again until you get to that line. And if there's way more clearance on, on that line, then that's where you want to adjust it from. If you spin it around again and there's not near as much clearance or there's no clearance at all, spin it around until you get to that line again. Just, just, to, just to repeat that, you want as much clearance on this line with these, you can, you can see them move here slightly. I'll loosen them up so you'll be able to see them move a little bit. You want as much clearance on these as it's ever gonna be. Because if you've got an incredible amount of clearance on these, at any point you'll hear a rattle. It'll be hard starting, you'll have other issues. So you wanna make sure you're at the point on your camshaft that you have the most clearance right here. So basically both those lobes, or all four lobes will be pointing down away from your check screws here. So once you, get, once you find that spot, you'll be able to fill that piston in there. You wanna take a screwdriver or something light. You do not wanna to touch harder. You do not wanna spin this over with your screwdriver in there. But you wanna make sure that if, if that line is where it should be, your piston will be clear at top dead center and you'll be able to feel it as soon as you stick your screwdriver in there. That's the only reason for the screwdriver. Otherwise, the eight millimeter wrench will loosen these up and we'll go ahead and adjust valves. So the, the clearances on these is right here. And first we'll be adjusting the intake, 0 0.05 to 0 0.10 millimeters. And then exhaust is 0.22 to 0.27 millimeters. So the first thing we do is grab the 0 0.075 or 0 0.076 millimeter um, feeler gauge, you want to slide underneath here. If, you've, if, you're able, if it's able to move freely um, without any problems, then it's probably too loose. Tighten it up a little bit farther. If you can't move it at all, then it's too tight and you want to loosen it up. So we get it to where there's, it's fairly snug here. Now what I'm going to do is take my 8 millimeter wrench and I'm going to tighten this lock screw. You want to tighten it down so it's good and tight. You want to make sure that your feeler gauge has some drag on it. You want to make sure that um, you're able to stick it in there, but you want to make sure it moves. You want to make sure it's not too loose. If, if you're able to take your next feeler gauge size up and stick it in there, then it's too loose. If you're able to um, 
feel a little bit of drag, then that's where you're gonna be. Do, do the same thing on the other side and tighten it down. You get, a lot of times once you loosen that lock nut, you can just spin that with your fingers. Otherwise, you can use a pair of pliers too, but it, it should be fairly smooth. All that should be well lubricated in there, so not rusty. Make sure you've got some drag on there. Tighten it up. Now, if you're when you're doing this, and you're um, when you're tightening this lock nut, and if you tighten that adjuster screw at, when you're tightening it, then you want to loosen it up and try again. See, we're too tight there. I can't even get my feeler gauge out. So you want to loosen it up. Make sure you're able to move that feeler gauge and tighten it up. Sometimes that adjuster screw will tighten when you're tightening that lock nut. So you'll make sure there's some play in there. It's still a little bit too loose. You make sure you always leave with the lock screw tightened, but you want to make sure that it's not too tight. If it continues to do this, what you can do is grab a pair of pliers, hold it at the same time, just take the feeler gauge out. There you go, slide it back and forth. If it slides, then you're all set. Now what I like to do is then adjust the valve, do the same thing with the valve. I'll do the .25. Uh, I like to slide it in there, um, adjust it the same exact way, put everything back together, spin this, or you, could, you don't even have to put the caps on here, but spin this and make sure all these lock nuts are tightened down and uh, make sure there's clearance, make sure it's good. Again, find your spot on this line here on your flywheel that these are the, as loose as they're ever gonna be. So if they're tight, when you spin it all the way around, they're tight, spin it one more revolution and see if they're loose. And as soon as you get them to the loosest point, check again. If it checks out when you, whenever you do that, then go ahead and put everything back together and your motor will be good to go. You do not have to pull your motor out to check valves on this. We were just pulling this motor for something else. Um, we'll show you more videos on this motor, taking U-joints apart, prop shafts and transmission, pulling the flywheel off, stator, starter, all the clutches, uh, top end, camshaft, we'll tear this motor down.